Hello and welcome to Katrina's Creations, my bariatric journey. So it's a little, been a little while since I filmed last time, uh, basically because there hasn't been anything going on. Um, I am still waiting for my very last step before they submit everything to the insurance company. And that is I need to meet with a behavioral psychologist because emotionally there's a lot of things that can change with everything that's going on. So they want to make sure you're prepared for that. So I have that on the 21st, but last Friday I did the next final step, which was getting all of my blood work in order. There's a lot of blood work involved with this. Um, so the blood work I had to have, um, there was a lot for the surgery itself, but it's also time for my yearly physical. So I had some blood work, just your standard, you know, like complete blood count type of thing. Uh, for that, it was also time for my mammogram. Let's just have fun, make a day of it at the at the uh, at the lab. Yeah, so that was my, that was my day on Friday. Uh, yeah. So first, I went to get the mammogram. If you've never had a ma mammogram before, just just think Panini Press, and you pretty much have it. But uh, yeah, it was. It was a mammogram. Uh, anyway, they did see some changes in things. So um, I do need to go back and have um, another series taken just just for more fun, of course. Um, I'm not overly concerned about it because it didn't seem like it was... They rated, they rated me uh, like a 15% chance lifetime of having breast cancer or anything like that. Um, it's funny, we're talking about breast cancer, I'm wearing pink, uh, which is like the, the color that re represents survivors of breast cancer. Um, I do have an aunt who has, is a survivor from breast cancer, um, but that's the closest in my family that anybody has had anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned, but I'm, I'm not worrying about it, um, because it didn't seem like it was overly serious. It's one of those things they just want to go in and double check because they saw some changes uh, that weren't there before. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I have that going on. Just a little more drama in my life right now. And then I had the blood work and, and the lady pulls it up. She goes, oh, you are getting a lot of blood work. And I was like, yeah, for the surgery and for my regular doctor's visit. I said, will I have any blood left? And she says, we'll try to save you some. So uh, they took seven vials of blood out. The lady kept looking at me going, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I felt a little sleepy in the afternoon, but uh, yeah, seven vials of blood. But she was really good at it because um, I didn't feel the needle go in at all, which is really unusual. I have like one particular vein that I always tell them to go for because that's the one that's the good one that they never miss on. Um, yeah, and she got it with, she's one of those little micro, micro needles that, um, the little butterfly needles, so that when they change the, the vials from one to the next, you don't feel it in your arm because it's not jiggling. So, um, yeah, but she was really good. She got it on the first try and I didn't feel it at all. So I had to do that. Then I had to do the urine test. That's always fun. Uh, we won't even talk about that. And then I had to do what is called an H. pylori test. Now, H. pylori is a type of a little bacteria that can live in your stomach. And they like to kind of know ahead of, is it your stomach or your lungs? It's one of the two parts. But anyway, I thought, I saw pictures of it in your stomach. Um, but I guess it can, I'm not sure. I thought it was lungs. I thought it was lungs, but the pictures I saw of it, it was in your stomach. I don't know. I'll I'll put it down here where they where they come from. But anyway, they look like little green squid. That's the only way I can describe it. I'll stick a picture in so you can see what they look like. Am I right or what? Little green squid. All right, I changed locations from where I was earlier because I'm now sitting at my sewing uh, table and I actually have the camera balanced on the sewing machine, but I looked up H. pylori to find out a little bit more about it and it turns out there was a little more detail than than I could just like put in the captions. So H. pylori are these little spiral 
like tubular shaped things. Like I said, they look like little green squid and they live in the stomachs of 50 to 60 percent of you. Uh, worldwide, 50 to 50 to 60 percent of the of people have these in their stomachs. Uh, what happens with these little critters is they are spiral shaped so they can actually um, like bore into the lining of your stomach and then cause an infection. They, uh, from what I looked up, a lot of your uh, ulcers, like peptic ulcers and things like that, are caused by this particular type of bacteria that then gets infected. Uh, they said most of the time it doesn't affect anything, but a lot of times if you have ulcers or gastritis, it can be caused because be, due to these little these little green squid in your stomach. So um, yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting, so I thought I would share that with you. And uh, yeah, let's just hope that there's no little green squid living in my stomach at the present time. It is an easy treatment if there is. All they have to do is give you an antibiotic and it kills them. But um, yeah, I don't think I want any green squid growing in my stomach. Um, yeah, so anyway, you, it was the weirdest test I've ever done in my life. They hand me this little, this little bag. It looked like an inflatable whoopee cushion, and you, <laughs> it did. It really did. Um, you had to blow into it and fill it up. I was like, okay, and then hand it back to her. And so then the lab technician takes and mixes this little uh, powdered like drink mix with some water and had to shake it for a while. And I said, so what does that taste like? She goes, I've never tasted it. I've heard it's citrusy. Picture your tartest, sickening, sweetest lemonade, and you got it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it made you pucker. That's for sure. It was like, like you know, it was, it, it was tart, and it was really really syrupy sweet so you had to drink I mean it was it was only about this much it wasn't you know it was a it was a little jug thing it was about that big around and about that tall so um, yeah you had to drink that down with the straw and then you had to wait for 15 minutes so they set a timer and I waited for I took a book with me sat there and read my crochet mystery while I was waiting the 15 minutes and then you had to go up and blow up another whoopee cushion yeah and turn that in so most of my blood work results have come back and everything seems to be fine. Um, I haven't got the results back from my H. pylori test yet. Um, I mean, there's a couple things in my blood work that are off, but there are a couple things that are normally off with my blood work slightly, um, and they're not off by much. So, yeah, that's, that's what's going on with that. As for my weight loss, I've kind of hit a plateau right now. I haven't I haven't lost any additional weight, so I'm still holding at like the nine pounds that I've lost. But um, I haven't gotten on the scale either, but I, I went swimming the other day, which was really good. And I found out how out of shape I was after like two laps across the pool that was only maybe 20 feet wide. Um, yeah, I looked at my daughter because the two of us were doing laps together and, and I, I was like, Okay, I now realize how out of shape I am, uh, but I did I did spend about three hours in the pool, which is why my face is just a little bit red. Not much. It's better than it was. I did get a little bit sunburned, um, but not too bad. And um, yeah, but I, I spent time, a lot of time just talking, visiting with everybody because it was my grandkids and my daughter and son-in-law and just treading water, which was a lot of exercise itself. And I, I came home and I felt a little achy at first because I was like, oh, I'm gonna hurt tomorrow. That was what my thought was. But when I got up uh, Sunday morning, I didn't ache at any at all. I was, I was really expecting to kind of feel sore between my shoulders or something like that. Nothing, so I was like, well, that's good, good sign. So um, yeah, that is where I am at at this point with my uh, bariatric surgery. And the next step, like I said, is the 21st of September when I will meet with a psychologist. It's on a Zoom meeting. So, um, yeah, we'll find out whether I'm certifiable or not. Hopefully not. Um, and that they'll let me go on with the surgery. And then after that, they will begin getting the approval through my insurance and scheduling the surgery itself. So, um, it's exciting. It's coming down. I'm getting down. I can see light at the end of the tunnel. I'm coming down the home stretch. So yeah, I'm excited about it. And 
yeah. So I have a regular doctor visit on the 17th and then the, the psychologist visit on the 21st. The regular visit with my doctor is just my yearly physical. Um, but I think it'll be fun to sit and talk with her um, and tell her what's going on as well. And uh, she has suggested it to me before to have weight loss surgery. And so uh, just looking at my, some of my lab work, I can see some of my numbers that were high have come down. And knowing that I'm headed in the right direction with that now is encouraging too. So that is it for the update. Thanks again for watching and sticking with me. And if you are working on losing weight, um, just uh, let's encourage each other and you can stick down in the comments how much you've lost. Don't tell me what you weigh. That's your own business. But if you're, you're working on weight loss and you want to share what you've lost so far or what's working for you, please leave it down in the comments and we're on this journey together. So thanks again for watching everybody. Bye.